920, 950 thousand. At 950 thousand pounds. At 950, 980 thousand. I've been working here for 15 years, but, I, but I've been in the art world for 35 years. It all started with collecting for me, in that I started collecting stamps and then moved on to actually collected sort of weaponry and swords and things like that. And then probably aged about 14, 15, I then got into collecting drawings. So it sort of evolved into that, and I think that's where it all came from, really, from my point of view. So, we begin with lot one, which is the Kandinsky. Start with, uh, 90, 000 pounds, 90, 000 pounds. I went to the did the Sotheby's course in 1973, and so I, that was obviously steered me towards the auction houses rather than uh, going to a dealer. I also felt that you'd learn more in an auction house than you would in a dealer because you see so much, um, so many works of art coming through your hands, and I still think that's probably true is that you can't, I mean, it's a great place to learn. You can really learn the skills and, the, and uh, you learn so much working in an auction house. At £6,200,000, yes, you have it. At £6,200,000, £6,000,000, gold and plastic. You probably employ 1,300 people worldwide, but they're very, very diverse people. And they, we have some people who are extremely academic, who are completely focused on their subject. We then have people who are uh, computer experts, very computer literate. We have uh, run-of-the-mill managers who have management skills. Um, we have technicians who are good at hanging and, and packing pictures and other works of art. I mean, it, it really requires everything, uh, all sorts of skills, really. I think the first thing if you want to go in the art world is do you want to be an expert? If you've decided the answer is yes, you need to figure out do I want to be an academic or do I want to be a commercial person? There's that fork in the road. In my case, there was no question about it. I wanted to be a commercial person. So the question then is do you want to be a dealer or an auctioneer? And then I chose the, the auctioneering route because I felt it was more, um, probably suited my um, situation more. And I like the idea that an auction, you, there's a finite process. The picture comes in for sale and the hammer falls, and that is the end of the transaction. With dealing, what frustrated me um, and, uh, was that you would ask somebody if they wanted to buy the picture. They'd say, yes, but I'd like to ask my wife. The wife would come round, and then they'd say, well, she doesn't like it, so they wouldn't buy it. And the whole process would take too long. And I think auction houses, the beauty of it is um, that there is a process and then there's a theatre at the end and the performance is the final thing. I like the idea of the hammer falling and that being the, the price that's paid and the end of the story, yeah. So, 350,000. Congratulations, 5,000. What number two is by Matisse? 